Todoist Tips and Tricks Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video tutorial on how to take your Todoist skills to the next level and make the most out of this platform. Whether you're just starting out with Todoist or consider yourself an experienced user, this tutorial is packed with lesser known techniques that will supercharge your task management. If you are new to Todoist, I would suggest actually going and looking at some of the other Todoist training videos on my YouTube channel first, link in the description. This video is going to be better if you've already used Todoist a little bit. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. The first tip is adding emoji labels. Adding emoji labels can be a useful tip and trick to enhance your experience with filters, labels, and tasks. By incorporating emojis, you can quickly identify and preview different elements. To begin, you can utilize the emoji keyboard by pressing the Windows key and the period button simultaneously on your computer. This action will bring up the emoji keyboard on your screen, allowing you to access a wide variety of emojis to choose from when customizing your filters, labels, or tasks. Let's take a look on how you can add emojis to filters and labels. Start by navigating to the left menu and selecting Filters and Labels. Once you are on the Filter and Labels page, choose the specific filter or label that you wish to modify by replacing its name with an emoji. Once you have selected the desired filter or label, hover over it and you will notice a pencil icon appearing on the right hand side. Click on this icon to open up a pop-up window. Inside the pop-up window, locate the Filter Name field. To access the emoji keyboard, simply type the Windows key and the period button together on your keyboard. This action will bring up the emoji keyboard on your screen. Now you can select the emoji that you want to use and replace the name of the filter or label with the chosen emoji. You can follow the same method mentioned above to incorporate emojis into your tasks and label names as well. By utilizing emojis, you can add a visual and playful element to your filters, labels, and tasks, making them more visually appealing and easy to distinguish. The next tip is removing the radio button. When using Todoist, you will notice that each task you create is accompanied by a radio button. This button serves as a visual indicator to mark the completion of a task. For example, when you finish a task and you want to mark it as complete, you simply click on the radio button. Upon clicking, the task disappears from the screen, signifying that it has been successfully completed. Nevertheless, if you prefer to have the ability to view tasks even after they have been marked as complete, you can easily remove the radio button from the task. This allows you to keep track of all your completed tasks without them disappearing from your view. Removing the radio button from a task in Todoist is a simple process that allows you to keep the task visible even after marking it as complete. To demonstrate how to remove the radio button, let's create a new task and perform the necessary steps. To create a new task in your project, locate and click on the plus add task button. This action will open a field where you can enter the task name and description. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will only enter the task name. Leave the due date, priority, and other details blank. Once you have entered the task name, click on the Add Task button to create the task. Now you will see that the newly created task appears with a radio button next to its name. To remove this radio button, click on the task itself. This action will open a window displaying the task details. Within the Task Details window, navigate to the Task Name field. Here you will add a special character to remove the radio button. To do this, place an asterisk before the task name and add a space after the asterisk. This formatting signifies that the task should be displayed without the radio button. For example, if your task name is Complete Report, you would enter asterisk Complete Report in the Task Name field. Once you have made this change, click on the Save button. As a result, you will notice that the radio button associated with the task has disappeared, indicating that the task can now be seen even if it is marked as complete. The next tip is Bulk Edit. Bulk Edit is an essential feature in Todoist when you find yourself needing to edit multiple tasks within a project. Editing tasks individually can be time-consuming and tedious, making the Bulk Edit functionality a valuable tool. To initiate the bulk edit process, you will first need to select all the tasks you want to modify. This can be done by holding down the control button on your keyboard and then clicking on the first task you wish to include. After selecting the first task, scroll down to the bottom of the task list, press and hold the shift key, and click on the task you want to include in the bulk edit selection. This action will highlight and select all the tasks you desire to edit simultaneously. Once you have successfully selected all the tasks for bulk editing, you will notice a set of options appearing at the top of the interface. These options provide various editing functions such as modifying due dates, moving tasks to different projects, assigning labels, adjusting priorities, and more. 
You can leverage these options to make changes to all the selected tasks at once, streamlining the editing process and saving valuable time and effort. Next, URL trick. A helpful trick in Todoist is the URL trick that allows you to quickly navigate to the web version or open filters and labels in another window. By using a combination of control and selecting a filter or label, you can streamline your workflow. To utilize this trick, start by clicking on Filters and Labels in the left menu of Todoist. This action will direct you to the Filters and Labels page, where you can manage and view your customized filters and labels. If you want to open a specific filter or label in a separate browser window, press and hold the control key on your keyboard. While holding control, select the desired filter or label by clicking on it. By doing so, you will notice that a new window appears, either immediately redirecting you to the web version of the selected filter or label or opening it in another browser tab. Once you have opened the filter or label in a separate window, you can proceed with any necessary actions such as bulk editing tasks. If you need to make changes to multiple tasks within the selected filter or label, you can follow the bulk edit steps outlined earlier. Next, View Trick. Todoist offers two different views for organizing your tasks, List View and Board View. If you find yourself not satisfied with the current view and want to switch to another, there is a convenient shortcut available. To change the view, you would typically click on the View option in the Todoist interface, then select Layout, and finally choose the desired view between List and Board. However, this process can be time-consuming and cumbersome. Instead, you can use a shortcut to quickly switch between views. By pressing Shift plus V on your keyboard, you can instantly change the view without going through the entire process manually. This shortcut works for changing the view in various sections, including Inbox, Today, Upcoming, Favorites, and Project Tasks. With the Shift plus V shortcut, you can effortlessly transition between List View and Board View, allowing you to find the layout that suits your workflow best. This shortcut offers a convenient way to enhance your productivity by quickly adapting the visual organization of your tasks. The next tip is Zoom In and Out. A useful trick in Todoist is the ability to zoom in or out on the interface. If you find that you need to adjust the zoom level for better visibility or to fit more information on the screen, there is a simple shortcut that you can use. To zoom in or out, press and hold the control key on your keyboard. While holding control, scroll the mouse wheel either backward or forward. If you want to zoom in, scroll the wheel back, and if you want to zoom out, scroll the wheel forward. By utilizing this shortcut, you can easily adjust the zoom level in Todoist according to your preferences and visual needs. Whether you need to focus on specific details or get a broader overview of your tasks, the Zoom In and Out feature offers flexibility in viewing your task list. The next tip is Intelligent Input. An important tip and trick in Todoist is to utilize intelligent input while adding tasks. Todoist has the capability to recognize specific letters or numbers within a task name, allowing for seamless input of relevant information. For example, if you include the notation exclamation point exclamation point one or exclamation point exclamation point two or exclamation point exclamation point three within a task name, Todoist will automatically identify it as a priority designation, displaying the corresponding priority level of one, two, or three. This intelligent input feature saves time and effort by eliminating the need to manually set priority levels for each task. By incorporating these shorthand notations, you can swiftly indicate the priority of your tasks during their creation. Next, integration tip. In addition to intelligent input, another valuable tip includes integrating Google Calendar with your Todoist account. This integration allows for synchronization between the two platforms, ensuring that any new events added to your Google Calendar are replicated within your Todoist account. To integrate your Google Calendar with Todoist, begin by navigating to the top right corner of the Todoist interface and clicking on the Account section. From there, select Integrations. This action will open a window where you will find the option to integrate your Google Calendar with Todoist. By establishing this integration, you can benefit from a streamlined workflow where events and tasks are seamlessly coordinated. Any events added to your Google Calendar will be reflected within your Todoist account, ensuring that you stay organized and up-to-date across both platforms. The next tip is creating sections inside Inbox. An important tip and trick in Todoist is the ability to create sections within your Inbox. This feature enables you to further organize and categorize your tasks, promoting clarity and efficiency in your workflow. To add sections to your inbox, navigate to the Inbox section in the left menu of Todoist. Once there, locate the three dots. Clicking on the three dots will open a drop-down menu with additional options. Within the drop-down menu, select the Add Section option. 
This action prompts Todoist to prompt you to enter a name for the section. Take the opportunity to provide a descriptive name that reflects the category or theme of tasks that will be placed within the section. Additionally, you have the option to add relevant tags to the section name, further enhancing organization and searchability. After entering the section name and any accompanying tags, click on the Add Section button. This action finalizes the creation of the section within your inbox. You can repeat this process to add as many sections as you need to effectively structure and compartmentalize your tasks. And there you have it, a beginner's guide on Todoist tips and tricks. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that, thank you. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks. For